I just gave you my answer, bro. <laughs> I think I think and, you have to remember. You said he couldn't do any card tricks either. I mean, what's what's the deal? And that was Penn that said that. Was that was me that said that. I said that in a very very specific thing that David Blaine doesn't care about. That is to say, the ability to do heavy duty finger flinging, which the heavy duty stuff Chris can't do and I can't do either. We're talking about the heavy stuff, the Jamie Ian Swiss stuff, mm-hmm. the Mike Close stuff, the Eric Mead stuff, Paul Harris, the Paul Harris stuff. Stuff, that stuff, the really impossible. I've never heard thing. of these people then. Exactly my point. I'm talking about <laughs> that's why I said it was about welding. I'm not saying that he should be able to do card tricks. I'm not saying you want him to do card tricks. I'm not saying anything except if you're asking a professional but, uh, opinion, he got which you were. What's that? He must do something well. Yes, he, he does. does. He, he does TV together. stuff he very well. well. He's really, really good. What and you're saying he's is... so good at doing card tricks that people like Chris Angel are copying him. Absolutely. Absolutely. The first special he did that. What I'm saying <laughs> is George Harrison was never that good a guitar player compared to Les Paul. If you're talking about just guitar playing, Les that's Paul is a lot better. And But George Harrison got more famous. And if what you're talking about is fame, then you want George Harrison. And on top of that, you have to do what you do live for a public performance. And he's never done a public performance in his life. Yeah, he doesn't ever do stuff live. That's I do. True. Uh, that is true. He that did, is true. He's never done a live show. I've done 600 performances on Broadway. Yeah. I've seen I have him a show opening. I'm sorry? He does walk That's... around, I'm pretty sure. He does walk around. He yeah. does walk around. We're talking about doing a show, which he doesn't do, and doesn't claim to do. Right. We're not. If David Blaine were sitting here, he would agree with every single thing we've said. That's the most important you thing. Do agree with the da- fact that he's only famous because of his girlfriends? It might not agree with that. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. He sure would brag about his girlfriends. You can't be around him five minutes he without him talking about He goes on Howard Stern with his girlfriends. Yeah, so he, 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 he think, blatantly admits it. It's, think, not, it's not anything bad. I'll I'll give, him, get, give him credit, man. Well, I'll try to get David Blaine on here because I think there's nothing. I would be shocked. As a matter of fact, I know for a fact that David Blaine would not claim to be a world-class card technician. I think there's zero chance he would say that. Any more than George Harrison would have ever claimed to be a better guitar player than Les Paul. Well, it's not for, like, the, the in-the-know people, like musicians and whatnot. What's and that? He's, but he's able to transcend that. And, and there's no doubt about that. Everybody's agreeing with you on that. <laughs> no one's arguing with you about that. We're just saying on this specific little minuscule thing, you know, this little <laughs> tiny thing, Albert Schweitzer was not good at Chinese checkers. That's what we're saying. <laughs> we're saying, you know, pick the best person who ever lived. Pick the your favorite person. Bob Dylan is not particularly good at fixing a flat tire. We're saying David Blaine is the greatest, most talented, sexiest, most heroic person that ever lived. I'm telling you right now, Jesus Christ, don't make me laugh. I'm talking about every single hero you've ever heard about can't touch David Blaine, but he cannot do a decent second deal. That's all I'm saying. He can't deal second. It's a very limited thing. He's the sexiest man I know right now as you're speaking to me. You're looking at David Blaine, sir. Nothing has ever been sexier and more beautiful. But remember, as you look at David Blaine and you stare stare at his crotch, remember, the glass is convex. He looks bigger. He looks bigger to you. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it, sir. You take Take some time. Hang up your cell phone. <laughs> this is Penn Gillette on Free FM. And we'll take another call. Do you have another call? Oh, you're taking another call? Oh, my God. I thought we were just going to pass out at that point. <laughs> no, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself.